Hey guys, welcome back to Stonegate Wellness and Stonegate Classes series on uh, combat broadsword. So we're going to teach you guys a technique today uh, that really isn't necessarily exclusive to broadsword. This can be used in broadsword, straight sword, or really even in empty hands forms because this technique is good for fluidity, but more importantly it's great for wrist strength and hand strength, which is all important in sword play. Uh, if you've done any actual sword combat, uh, if you haven't conditioned for it, you probably notice fairly quickly that your hand gets tired pretty fast. So this is going to be a really basic drill that you can use to build some wrist strength, wrist flexibility, and some fluidity with the weapon. Now, uh, you should know your basic figure of eight drills. If you don't, that's okay. Our next video will probably be on those, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, but we're going to do uh, just a basic wrap spin pattern. So this is a really classic sword spin. You actually see this in some sword forms. It's not present in the Tai Chi sword form, but I'm going to break it down for you to make it fairly simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the blade essentially vertical behind my back at the small of my back. And I'm going to show you the pattern, and then I'll bring it up to speed and show you what that looks like. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to leave my hips out of it to start, but then I'll show you how it all connects, is I'm going to bring the blade around with my hand down and the pommel pointed up. From here, I'm going to roll it out to my right, let that momentum continue through the blade and drop my wrist to let that roll around the outside, and then I'm going to let that momentum continue down, back, and roll my hand up right here behind me again. So I end up in this exact same position. So a little more quickly, I bring the blade out, out, around, and back. Okay? Out, out, around, and back. Now. Of course, this is Tai Chi, so I want to get my body engaged because I don't just want to pull that from the shoulder. So what I want to do is I want to pull from the hips to bring the blade out, around, and then bring that back in. Okay, so I've got this nice rolling motion that I'm going to continue. Now, you'll notice that once I really get it moving, I don't necessarily come all the way back into this starting position every time. That's okay, because what I want to do is build fluidity. And as we know, Tai Chi is about removing to the end point. We don't want to come to the point where we stop and start over. We want to break that and bridge that gap and connect the two motions. So I'm going to come out, out, around, back. And as I come back, I'm going to be bringing that blade back out. So I'm going to get a nice, continuous circuit of motion, okay? Now, I want to keep my wrist firm, I want to keep my grip secure, but I don't want to over-squeeze the weapon, okay? Because that's no good. I don't want to kill it. I want to allow it to roll just a little bit in the hand, but I want to keep that motion nice and fluid, okay? And over time, you can bring that more and more up to speed so that you're moving the blade fairly rapidly. And that's going to be a pretty good exercise for the shoulder and for the wrist, okay? So that's blade spinning. You can do this with both hands for sure, and you definitely want to. You want to make sure that you're training both sides. You don't want to be unbalanced. Uh, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments below. Please click like on the video. Uh, subscribe to our channel. That way you're going to get all our great next videos. And we'll probably continue some of our broadsword drills talking about the figures of eight next time, all right? So keep an eye out for that. We'll see you guys then.